Hey, how's everyone doing today? This is Minnesota Silver Oil Hunter here doing a video information video on a 1966 Kennedy half dollar with the no mint mark. Let's get down to it. The 1966 Kennedy half dollar is 40% silver, mintage 108,984,932, and is minted at Philadelphia. Designer engraver Gilroy Roberts. Metal composition, 40% silver, 60% copper. Diameter, 30.6 millimeters. Mass, weight, 11.5 grams. The estimated value for a 1966 Kennedy half dollar is worth about $3.83 in average condition and can be worth $6.30 to $25 or more in uncirculated MS plus mint condition. Continuing on from the Mint Mark Moratorium that began in 1965, the U.S. Mint did not strike coins with any Mint Marks in 1966. This, of course, included Kennedy Half Dollars, which in 1966 were still riding on high tide of popularity despite having no Mint Marks and a paltry 40% silver composition, as opposed to the 90% silver makeup that it had in 1964 trying to stem the massive coin shortage that would beseed the country at the time the United States Mint found itself in the position of striking 1964 dated half dollars late into 1965 and 1965 halves well into 1966 in fact the first 1966 dated half dollars were even minted August 1st 1966 however signs that the coin shortage was easing were already evident. Partly this was due to the fact that hundreds of millions of copper nickel clad coins were already in circulation and rapidly replacing the silver coins that had caused widespread hoarding pandorium. Still the Kennedy half dollar was not circulating and thus the quarter was becoming the permanent high value coin. In 1966, as in 1965, two types of Kennedy half dollars were available. The regular strike, 1966 Kennedy half dollar, of which 108,984,932 were made, and the 1966 special mint set Kennedy half, which had a mintage of 2,261,583 pieces. Each is worth about five bucks today. And that's just a short little history on the 1966 no mint mark. And let's check this out here. We got, I mean, it's not that bad. There's a little, you know, there's scratches, of course, for being a 66. And, you know, it's been in circulation. This one I, you know, I found when I was coin roll hunting. Um, so it's been in circulation for a long time. And then there's the back of it. I don't know. Uh, back looks pretty nice compared to the front. The front, like the cheek and all that stuff looks messed up. But All right, well, thanks a lot. You have a good day. If you like the video, please thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please share. And I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Thanks a lot, and you guys have a very good day. Bye-bye.